Hey everybody, so I have another empties video for you. It's actually not too full this time, um, but I haven't done one in a while, so I thought it'd be good to get rid of these products and share with you guys whether or not I like them and would repurchase. So I'm just gonna dive right in. I actually have quite a few like BB creams and foundations this time around. They all just disappeared at the same time. The first one is the Garnier BB cream. Um, this is definitely not my favorite, but I use it a lot when I mix it with foundations, more so in the winter time because there's no SPF in it, but I just, I like the consistency of it and I like the way it thins out my foundation a little bit. So I definitely would repurchase. It's good for oily skin or combo oily skin, and this is in light medium, which is currently too light for me, but it's empty. I'll repurchase it in the, in the winter time when I don't need SPF because right now in the summertime, this one is my favorite, and I just ran out of it. It's the Supergoop CC Cream, SPF 35, which I talk about all the time. It's the best of the best of the best of all of the BB CC creams that I've tried out. I love it. I've actually ordered, this is the um, light to medium, which I found I could only really wear during a certain time of year. It was really odd. like. It's too dark for my regular pale color, but once I, I build up a tan like that, so once I get a tan, it's too light. So I went ahead and I ordered the light version, so on the lighter side, and the medium version on the other side. And I figure if I own both of them, then I can custom create my own color depending on what I happen to be. So yeah, I'm hoping that comes this week because I live for that stuff, I love it. This is the CoverGirl 3-in-1 foundation in medium beige. I used this a lot last summer. It's really hard to get the bottom of the bottle out, one of the reasons I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, but it's very comparable to the Ready Set Gorgeous. I just, I like this packaging better, it's cleaner, it's easier, and I can't really tell the difference between the two. Um, I've tried, and I can't really, so I would definitely continue with this one. And then the last face product is a little sample guy. It Cosmetics CC Cream. This came in a ipsy bag and I was so excited to try it out because I mean I've tried out like every BB and CC cream well not everyone but a lot of them and I've heard really rave, rave reviews about this and um, I was gonna do a review on this actually I don't think I did oh well um, I really did like this I would say this is up there in the top five for BB and CC creams it's very similar to Su super goop but I like super goop like this much more so I'm glad I got a sample and I didn't have to buy the full thing to figure that out but I like super good better this is the their real mascara from benefit sample probably came in an ipsy I'm not a fan of this so many people rave about this I've gone through a few of these samples with the ball tip I just it just does nothing for my lashes it's spiky and it doesn't volumize and it doesn't lengthen and I'm just not a fan not a fan if you love it that's great I don't this uh, is Pura Dor Argon Oil, organic face cream. I have a review video up on this line. They sent me these for review and I just finished up. This is the night cream. This stuff was really nice. It's the only downfall is it's not my favorite scent, but as far as night creams go, it's super luxurious and thick and hydrating and smooth and luxurious is a good word for it. So if you want to see the review, I will link that down below. I think this was a bit pricier, so I don't know if I'd personally repurchase it myself. There's lots of night creams I like, but it was really nice. This is the Beauty Blender Cleanser. I ration this stuff like no tomorrow. I do not wash my BB cream, or my BB cream, my Beauty Blender as much as I should. Um, but I've had more of this, maybe I would. This stuff works so well, you just need a little bit and then all the makeup comes right out of your sponge. It's magic, I don't know what's in it. I do want the full size, but I don't know. Whenever I go to Sephora to place an order, I don't want to spend my money on cleaning products. I want makeup. I don't want to spend it on cleaning products. I don't know if you guys are like that, but the last product is a shampoo, the L'Oreal Fibrology line that I've spoken of, also did a review on. It was sent to me in a Vox box. I don't know. The shampoo on its own wasn't really anything special. I mean, I like a lot of the L'Oreal hair care, so it was good, but it's that booster that goes between the shampoo and the conditioner that I feel like really help volumize hair. So I don't think the shampoo is necessarily special on its own. I'll probably try out that line again though as a unit in the future because I did, I did find it gave my hair volume. But yeah, that's it for this empties. I hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Bye.